Hello, everyone. Um, Big Bad Burning here, and I thought I would do what I haven't done for a little bit, and that's post an entire Islander match for you. Um, so we, this week we played on Lakeside. It's the final week of our uh, regular season. I don't think our team's making official playoffs in UGC Steel. Um, that we might be in like the consolation bracket or whatever. Anyway, I realized after I spawned that I'm, for whatever reason, I was using the big earner. Um, I forgot to change back to the uh, setup that I actually wanted to run for the entirety of the match. So I kind of go in for a suicide play. I may have been able to get the ment there if I decloaked immediately um, and was just hyper aggressive. I waited long enough that the pyro came back to uh, check me. Anyway, so I wasn't sure whether the bathhouse is was clear. Um, wasn't sure there whether the demo saw me. And so there are people in the bathhouse itself, which caused problems. Um, the pyro spotted me out, but I killed the man before he could uh, he could stop it. So this match in general, I, I played pretty darn aggressively um, with my decloaks. I tried to be smart about where I was decloaking and when, um, but I was kind of playing a dive bombing style, like the suicide pick class. Um, and you'll see, I don't live after a whole lot of my stabs, so my goal is really to kill important people. So I felt like the heavy probably wasn't going to turn there, um, so I pick him off behind there. And I think I can get the med, but I bump into the med. Um, and didn't stab early enough. So obviously they're going to call me out as soon as that happens and the demo turns around. Um, when you do get caught out, I guess you can deal with it in a couple of different ways. If I had cloak there, maybe I should have, you know, cloaked and tried to run away. Um, otherwise, you kind of just want to go for the most valuable target that's close to you. You know, and that you have a chance of getting. I know their med was kind of far back there, and so that's why I, um, I really went for that aggressive med pick. If the med was further forward, I probably would have had a much lower chance of that working out, so I wouldn't have tried for it in the first place. So as you can see, we're kind of down a whole bunch um, in terms of time. We were having issues with their soldier bombing in on our med. Um, we didn't react to it quickly enough, and so our med went down. So we have the point, but we're probably not going to be able to keep it for long. So I try for that long-range shot, just because I want to... Uh, you know, if I can put out 100 damage, that's obviously good. Um, I kind of screw up here. I'm disguised as the scout, and I let the scout see me. Um, I kind of just got trapped in bathhouse there without enough cloak to really go anywhere. I was hoping they were going to walk past me and I could get a stab, but they didn't. Um, so getting stuck in there wasn't necessarily the worst thing, but if I was going to decloak, I should have changed my disguise. And I had no excuse not to, considering that they've uh, decreased the amount of time. So I should probably be going for this heavy here. But I, uh, yeah, I'd, uh, I strafe into the med, you know. That's kind of a risky play, because if they had killed me and I didn't get the med out of it, I gave up a free pick in order to go for, you know, the bigger one. But it ends up working out for me. So we've got the point, but we can't really let them cap it quickly because they only have 18 seconds left on the clock, so we really have to try to, you know, hold this point for as long as possible. And if they get it, we need to be able to repush it within, you know, 18 seconds. Um, so I'm trying to scout here. If I had decloaked right here, I probably could have gotten the med. Um, but I wasn't sure whether they were going to be turning around and coming right at me. <laughs> so I try for some cheeky stair stab that doesn't work. Now their pyro is chasing me. <laughs> Wanted to see whether I could do some stupid stab here. Um, at that point, honestly, I didn't. I was 
90% sure I wasn't going to live. So I was just trying to kind of lure the pyro away from the med and waste his time. I'm going to die. Don't lose anyone else. Just point. So they know that they just need um, you have to, keep this point. to retake the point once. And you can see they're on the point right now. So I'm just trying to get back well, as quickly as I can. I'm dead. Soldier in our Where's the soldier going to our Looks like our scout was trying to uh, either force their med or get a med pick, because we really need that. I'm up. Um, I go for the med because there's not really much else I can do at this point. Um, Focusing heavy. But they're not distracted, so the pyro is doing a good job of spy checking the general area. And we, uh, right. looks like we're gonna lose this first round here. Here's what the, everyone's fucking bleeding. That's what's happening right now. Everyone's anyway, so, uh, during, like, holds. I need that we're thing. talking things over, trying to figure out what went wrong there and, uh, what we can improve. Right. So I'm checking what, uh, medigun they're running. In so this case, I think they're running yeah. quick fix. <laughs> I think I screw up. I didn't recognize what it was, but it was it was quick vex. So here, I was just making sure I was safe, but then I was trying to see whether I could go for a headshot on their med. Um, one thing about this game, maybe it was just because I was so amped up, but my gun aim was really bad today. Um, I made the game work regardless. I just got a lot of work done with my knife. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, so I... I'm strafing back with the med there. Um, that's just a really weird, weird play. I kind of flubbed my stab, um, and I got either hit back with a rocket or air blasted back. I don't even remember. Um, as their med was hit back, so I uh, I get the kill. Um, not a, a dependable play, but I guess it worked. So here I'm cloaking probably a little bit too early. So what you're going to see is I'm. I realized that, I'm like, hey, I'm going to be out of cloak if I Demo's pretty hurt. <laughs> if I go forward. And so that was stupid. At that point, I should have been cloaked if I, were go if I was going out there. Um, that scout's going to win that 1v1 with me most, most of the time. You know, unless something goes wrong, there's no reason I should be getting in a one-on-one -on -one fight with him. So that was kind of a wasted life right there. I didn't really gain any recon for our team. I didn't really accomplish anything. So I'm picking up the ammo packs here off oh, dead players. I realized that their combo is really far forward. I think I calmed that out for our team. I was trying to backpedal behind the med. I realized that probably wasn't going to happen. I was going for the med pack, but our scout needed it. Um, so I took the demo, and I think that's a, that was a good trade. Um, I end up dying, but getting the med, or sorry, getting the demo is a big deal for us. So the sniper was called out as being left. So I think we'll see whether I go for the sniper. Um, so I was cloaked because I wasn't sure whether this area was safe. But as soon as I realize it is safe, I, I go for it. So at first I was wondering whether that was... Oh, I go for the pyro and... <laughs> for some reason the stab doesn't register, so I'm trying to get her med to heal me. <laughs> she finally is able to get the beam on me, um, save me. So now... Now I decide, yeah, I think maybe someone called out the sniper's location, so I'm gonna go back for him. Or maybe he's not here. I think I find him. Yeah, I find him. And as you can see, my gun aim, just awful today. I don't know. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to hit that headshot. The other thing is, I shouldn't have been taking those shots from far away. Like, I could have just kept walking towards that sniper. The greater the range between me and the sniper, the better for him. I should have just kept walking forward and uh, and then dealt with him. You know? So that was a misplay on my part. Heavy stuff. Heavy, focus heavy. Uh, keeping the sniper under control was one of my kind of priorities during the match. I didn't really want him to go off. Um, I've actually, like, I subbed in for the team we're playing here on one of their scrims, and I noticed their sniper had done really well. So I... Oh, yeah, I got the med. Um, 
so I, I kind of wanted to keep their sniper down as much as possible, or at least call out his location so the rest of my team could deal with him. So you can see we're we're ahead in time here, but it's a pretty close round. So I noticed their soldier is in on our med there. So I made the decision that, hey, I'm just going to go try to occupy this soldier because nobody was protecting our med. So I died for that. But it doesn't really matter. I'll respawn quickly. And so long as I force that um, soldier to run away, our team can then deal with him. So I'm just trying to avoid getting checked here. Their demo probably saw me right here, but I got the med before um, the med could get could probably be notified about it. Um, so that's a really aggressive decloak, and on a bad day, maybe that wouldn't have worked. Um, so one of the things I try to think about when I'm playing Spy is how much time will people have to see me and call me out and react to me before I get like a chance to stab. So. Even though I decloaked with inside of that demo man right there, um, by the time the demo man can calm out that hey, a spy is behind the medic, um, I probably got the stab. So maybe it was a bit lucky, but you know, it seemed to be working out for me this this match at least. So I'm going going for the sniper. Is the sniper dead? No, the sniper's on point. So I'm gonna try to take him out. Miss the headshot again. The NG just did not react to the fact that the sniper was fighting me. Which is pretty funny. Um, so I win that one we going as well. Minis um, I notice like nobody's on the point here. Um, so I try to get there. I call out the fact that the demo's weak. And so eventually sizzling our Soldier is going to react to that, to my calm there, which is good. Um, he goes in and pressures that demo. And the longer they have their demo disconnected from their combo, the better. So that's good for us. You can see this round is really going down to, uh, again to the wire. I call the fact that their soldier's bombing. Um, we take him out. And I notice they're all going to be occupied right now, right? So I just go in and I end up being able to kill the heavy there. So one thing that I think is kind of useful as a spy is thinking about how distracted your opponents are, and that will kind of dictate like how aggressively you can decloak. If they have nothing to focus on, like all of your team's dead, they're holding the point comfortably, it's going to be really hard for you to go in and get a pick. So your positioning and your approach have to be really, really good. Um, but in that last play, you noticed they were, you know, really distracted because they needed the point. So, oh my god. This aim is just so embarrassing. Um, I had gotten a new mouse pad recently, so I'm not used to it and... I changed my sensitivity to compensate for that new mouse pad. So basically my aim is just garbage right now. Um, and especially when I'm all hyped up. Anyway, so that last situation, I had gone for the sniper instead of like the medic or anyone in the combo there. Because they looked like they had nothing else to focus on except spies. So the odds I would be able to get a stab are probably pretty low. Um, whereas if I go for the sniper, the sniper will be all alone because he's on bats and no one else is there. So that's kind of um, a higher percentage play. So I was kind of lucky here that that soldier didn't seem to react to me, and I get a demo. Um, so I knew when I was going for that demo that that's going to be a trade. Like, I'm not going to live. Um, <laughs> except... Kalar heals me. I, I have no clue how I survived there. Um, but I would have been willing to trade for that demo. Like, that's worth it for me. So I know their med is focused on something else, so I go and I get the med and the heavy. So now I'm decloaking here. Oh, I really want that demo as well. Um, but for whatever reason, he jumps in a bizarre way. 
So that was a really successful life for me. Um, you notice I decloaked like right out in the open, but because their meds focusing on the point and the fight, um, she's not focusing on what's behind her, and I can go right in for the stab. So even if someone saw me decloak, um, she wouldn't have had time to react before I I could kill her. Oh, you killed him. So now I think I realize this is probably gonna be really tough. So I'm avoiding the pyro because the pyro's spy checking like crazy. Um, someone spots me out here. I think it's the NG or the scout or something. I managed to get away temporarily, but their heavy is, you know, is smart. So he uh, he notices me and kills me pretty quickly. So that's all right. Um, maybe I would have done better that life to go back to their bats and focus on somebody else. Um, but I'm kind of okay with how that worked out. Time is really even so far this round. A lot of these rounds are quite close. We have. We're just gonna block the point with you if they try and push up on you. Okay. okay, let's be careful. Just wanted to make sure I didn't like bump the spy stupidly, but I, then I bumped the NG. So I realize I'm not gonna be able to go in on the med right now. Um, so I just kind of back up. I'm checking to see if the snipers up there, and I see the combos down below. So I'm cloaked here because I want to survey the area, and I want. This is a decloak spot I've been using to great effect here. But I get caught out. Now in that case, um, there's no way I deserve to get a stab there. I was just lucky that their med was running back from the point, and I did strafe well. Um, so getting used to sidestabbing is really, really helpful as a spy. Um, because it lets you get kills that you otherwise wouldn't. If you're not comfortable sidestabbing and moving in ways that you can get sidestabs, um, it will kind of hurt you in situations like that. Like, I didn't deserve to get that backstab, really, but because I was aware of um, sidestabbing... Oh, I really screwed up that med pick. I kind of choke. Um, I land that shot and just can't land this last shot on the med. I fall in the water. Um, thankfully, Sizzling knows that their medic is lit, so he goes right in and kills him. And there our scout does some good work to kill the sniper, and I get the Sully. I didn't see the scout coming up. Um, I kind of wanted to cripple the heavy with a headshot or two. But we were so close to winning that round anyway that uh, didn't really end up mattering. They're going left, watch out for the bomb. So I hear that they're going left. So I'm just kind of crossing the point straight. I recognize, of course, that none of their players are going that way. So now I'm going to focus on the sniper here. This time I actually hit him and kill him, which is good. <laughs> the pyro's coming back for me, or maybe the pyro's just coming back in general. I managed to run away, which is good. And I'm going to try to take high ground by going up on the bats, because I'm not sure whether they're still going into bathhouse over there on the right. So I think I'm asking people right now in game, like, where's their combo? Because I can't see them. So I decide to get on point. Um, someone sees me. I just wanted to, like, at least direct their attention to point for a little bit. I don't know where the sniper is, but I kind of want to go for him. I can't see the sniper. So I run in from far away. I probably should be cloaked right now. Don't go behind. Don't watch go there. Soldier, watch soldier, watch I try to go for the med. See that? That was kind of a stupid plan on my part. I mean, I probably could have gotten a pick and ran away if I hadn't waited for the med. Um, I was I was a little too greedy, and I should have been cloaked going up to point because if they were aware, they could have killed me easily. So I call out that their scout is up going on our sniper. I don't know why their scout. Scout was missing a bunch of shots. He's 
So I'm crossing point here. I pick up the ammo so I can elongate my cloak duration. I think they're in bathhouse or something, but they're not there. So I back out of bathhouse. And now I know that they seem to be in main. So I'm going to try to wait here for them. I know that they're, like, distracted fighting uh, my scout, so I decide to go in at that point. Because they won't be focusing on a spy. I get the heavy. Um, that's kind of like an okay trade. At this point, um, they'll have a better respawn than I will, so maybe it's not necessarily the best trade. Maybe I would have been better to just stay alive there. But I figure if I can, you know, hold off their push by getting killing some damage classes, um, that might help us, you know, hold the point for longer. So the round's pretty even at this point. They seem to be going out through their main. I don't know, I don't know. Why is going for me? So this is kind of a bit of a cluster right now. I don't know yeah, what the odds are of me getting anything done. Or I try to go for a cheeky uh, little like stair stab. It doesn't work. Um, so that's where I think I was overly aggressive. Like we weren't applying any pressure to them. They were just building back in main. Um, if I hadn't like gone in for a suicide pick. Um, I could have been alive for their push, and I could have actually contributed there. So I see their soldier over here. Thankfully, I don't get killed. Um, credit to Quiddick. And I noticed that they are going into bathhouse, and but they're backing up. So I just try to. I'm <laughs> still. Yeah, I just try to wait behind them. Um, I end up getting the med af out of it. Now, you may notice there when I press tab, um, our team is down a whole lot of players still. Um, but their med's down. We'll have a little bit of advantage, and hopefully we can make that work for us. They're up a little bit in time, but not by much. I land that opening headshot on the scout, which is good. That allows me to uh, move forward, kind of unhindered here. Alright, we're taking point, okay. And they're gonna be distracted now because our team's pushing. I try to do stupid stair stab, which doesn't work. Um, and I notice the pill too late and die. You don't have to wait for me to say it, just wait until like I'm hurt. Okay, sure enough. So that was another one of those situations where I don't know. I wasn't really playing very smart that life. So they're up by like 30 seconds. Um, we're going to need to have a repush soon. Thankfully, that's probably going to happen. They appear to be holding in bathhouse. Maybe I could have gone for the demo there. I'm not sure. I know that the NG disguise is probably decent. But, I mean, they obviously know I'm a spy. I end up getting the sniper out of it, which is a good pick. Even if it wasn't a very, like, a very, like, glorious one. Their heavy isn't paying attention to me, which is good. Get a free kill out of that. And I think I'm looking for sniper now. That's kind of my next priority. They only have six seconds left on the clock, though, I realize. So at that point, I'm just going for the point. Um, looks like... I don't mind dying here if I need to. We need to get the point. Um, so we cap, I think. Yeah, I do, I do, I get the headshot on the demo, and then I, I know I want him to die quickly, because if the med gets the heal beam on him, um, he'll be able to get healed back up to health. So I kill the demo. Like, how, how do I miss that headshot? I don't, I don't know what was going on with me today. Um, I do end up killing the sniper, though. So, that was a pretty successful life, I think, um, despite the fact that my aim is just awful. They're taking damage behind point, a lot of damage. What'd you say was that? So, we're doing a really good job here of just bleeding them, their players. Sniper's still up. 
So I know the scouts over there. I know they're coming out main. Um, they probably spotted me there. <laughs> I try to go for the sniper, but um, our sniper takes takes out their sniper just like before I can get him. I juke their NG there, which allows me to survive. And surviving was beneficial because I get a demo kill out of it. So that, I think, was a really big pick because it kind of kills their damage potential when they really need, needed it most. Um, yeah, so we had a we had Uber there and we could use it. And that was, in retrospect, that's a huge round win right there for us. So here I'm looking at stats. Nine med picks in the first half, I think. So a bunch of those were lucky. But I guess I did pretty decently. So the second half is about to start. We are currently up 3-1. So we just need one more round to take this. Um, it's worth pointing out that the team we're playing here... Um, We've played in a scrim before, and they completely rolled us. It wasn't even close. It was probably one five zero. I think I'm thinking. I'm not even sure if we took. Yeah, I'm not even sure if we took a round off them. Um, so, I'm getting kind of ballsy here. That's kind of a stupid play on my part. I probably could have stayed alive there, waited till they actually pushed up on point, and then gone in for a play. Um, but because we're up 3 1, um, and this was just after half, uh, we know that they've been talking over, you know, strategy or whatever, like what's going wrong for them. So we're expecting this round to be pretty tough. You can tell the comms are pretty, pretty clustered. I notice their med is alone. I don't want the mini to kill me. So I wait till I sap the mini before I break my disguise, and then I uh, kill the med and the pyro after. So I know I want this uh, dispenser down, just in case, because I don't want it to stay alive after they re-push, um, because it can really help their classes pushing. So I'm trying to get that sniper, or sorry, that soldier, and it's really just not working out for me because my gun aim is atrocious. I did, I did. I piped, I so now I'm waiting, I did, I did. waiting, waiting, trying to go for the demo there. Um, I mean, I do get caught out, and I guess it's a low percentage play because they're just holding. They're not really pushing. Um, that being said, I was like half or a quarter of a second away from getting that demo, and that would have been that would have been nice. Um, we can just hold this until they push us, okay? No one dies. Yeah. Yeah. So they're pushing in. They've probably got their crits or whatever they're using. I'm decloaking. That's kind of a blind spot for them. So that was a big med pick. Um, I was kind of proud of that. I knew that they're. Um, I knew that they were going to come in for that push there, so I just kind of put myself in a position where they're going to be focusing on my team and not me. Um, because I got the med there, we could pop our uber for free, and that allowed us to hold on to the point for a little bit longer. Looks like we can't manage to hold it completely though, they still cap it without their med. That being said, we will be in a pretty good position probably to retake this. I take the demo and the heavy here. Um, so this was a really good couple of seconds for me. Um, I should have just cloaked after that and ran away. But getting both the the heavy and the demo really like cripples their ability to hold that point. Um, so that's... That worked out well for us. Uh, we retook the point. They really didn't get a lot of time off. So I'm pretty sure I'm safe over here. I'm just scanning to make sure that they don't have anyone flanking our team. 
because I want to be able to call that out. So here's where I get greedy. Obviously, their pyro knows I'm here now. So I'm just running away. But their demo is coming back, and I guess he knew which direction I was going. Um, because he was waiting for me. We're in a really good position though. We have only 30 seconds left, so I know they're they're basically they're gonna have to go in for a push soon. Um, Sizzling went in there for a great little play on their medic, and Broy is able to spam from the point. So we're doing really well here. So I know they have to go for a dry push here, and I call that out to my team because they don't have time to do anything else. So I just wait for the players to come by, get a free kill on the heavy, and our team clears everyone else up. So we uh, that's the game right there. We uh, take it 4-1, and it was probably one of our best victories of the season. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and found it somewhat interesting, and uh, hopefully I'll bring you some more decent content in the next couple of days. Bye for now.